Hi everyone, my name is Peter Faria and welcome back to another Day in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to upload an Outlook Design License using the Offline Activation Mode. So, the first thing they need to do is actually locate in your computer location for the bin folder. In my computer, it's going to be in this specific folder over here. So, what we're going to be doing using the command prompt, we're going to be locating this specific folder. I'm going to change it to my D drive. Usually, probably yours is going to be under the C drive and under Altrix slash bin. Mine is a specific customizable name. Change this and then I'm going to change that specific directory as well. There you go. Now, because this is in the offline activation mode, it's going to work a little bit different than the other video that we produce. We're going to be generating a file. And then in an online environment, we're going to be uploading the file into the license portal. And then we're going to download the file and then install it locally afterwards. All right. So how do we actually create the file? We're going to be using this specific setup over here. We're going to be leveraging Altrix Activate License Key CMD. Inputting all the keys that we actually want to install. Then the email address they, they should be attached to, the create request comment, and then the actual file name, and this is an example right over here. So for my case, I have already set up what I'm actually doing, which would be this over here. Right? So I can just copy and paste this into the command prompt. And then maybe don't see it right now but i can guarantee you that i'm currently offline right my wi-fi and my internet cable are all off so i'm gonna hit enter then you can see that a license request file was generated to the specific location if i go to that specific location you now can see the file right over here Now that we have created the file, as I mentioned before, we now need to go to the license portal. As I have it open over here, the place I need to go is kind of hidden right now. So in this location over here, just scroll down a little bit and then you should be able to see something easy today you can actually use, right? Then click to upload the activation request file. Select the file. I have it in my desktop, so I'll just get it over here. Click open, and I'm going to send a file to be created. And when I send that file, then Altrix returns me a bin file over here. I'll just plug that in into my same folder that I had before. And now that we have uploaded the request file, we have downloaded the bin file. All we have to do is upload the bin file to our instance using the same command but then of course use the new file name over here right so i'll just quickly create the file name right here just copy and paste this right this way I'll now i'll plug in the new command over here with no spaces of course to enter then you can see the license was activated now if i go to design maybe you don't see this but if i go to options manage license i should see now a new license getting plugged in right over here which is a new one that we actually use which in this case expires in just a little bit as well but then 
Now you can see how we're able to use the offline activation mode, right? Following this specific script over here. Again, step one, locate the bin folder, create the access file request, upload that into the portal, download the bin file, then upload the bin file, everything using the command prompt, right? So this was it. I don't thank everyone for uh, your time today. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.